Hi, Scorpio. Scorpions in Cancer season. The tide is high. You know that door we always talk about that you guys hold open for everybody else? Make sense of it all? I think this month, you get to hold that door open for yourselves. Look into the abyss a little bit. Because Uranus opposes you right now. And it's going to pull strong. During cancer season, it's going to be really strong. You have a water trine, a grand water trine, involving you. And there's an earth trine, too. It's all pulling. And it will pull you into things you really need to think about. Things that you really need to address. But in ways that are unexpected. The star card and the ace of swords in reverse. The star is something that you really wanted and then the ace of swords, it ended before you were ready. It was ended or delayed in a way that you could never quite figure out like what happened there. I thought that was gonna work out. I really, I really wanted that. I wished for it. It was my, <clears throat> it was my dream come true. What happened? Ace of Swords. Suddenly, it was gone, and now it returns. In some form or another, now it returns. This season is all about the past coming back. The waves always come back. They always act like they're leaving, but they always come back. Star card is also Aquarius. Ace of Swords, endings we weren't ready for, harsh endings, things that really stuck. So if you're going through something very difficult with an Aquarius right now, it's coming up really strong. It can be hard, Scorpio and Aquarius. It can be a hard pairing. It's a lot of fixed energy. Very stubborn. Sorry. I don't know why anyone would ever do that. Hmm. So. Ace of Swords. Painful. But... Now it returns, you know, because Aquarius is where that Mars retrograde is going to happen. It's all the stuff coming back, especially the stuff that maybe still is stuck. Like you, you haven't gotten over it, even if it's been a while, you haven't. It's, it's still there. It's haunting, hurting you. Hmm. Not at all how I thought the reading would go. Interesting. You guys are such a mystery, you know? You never let on. You play it real close to the chest. But this hurts. And another chance at something that hurts. I feel like half of you were like, yeah, bring it on. I need to talk about that. And the other half were like, okay, I'm going to look at this later. <laughs> I don't really need this right now. And I don't even want to talk about this, let alone have this person or that thing come back. Now, if this has something to do with work, I suggest you look at it and get in front of it right away and put your squeamishness aside. If you want to be squeamish about love, that's your own issue. But if it's about work and money, get on it. Especially if it's something where you were treated unfairly, stop being quiet about it and get on it. Excuse me for one moment. Hi again. Cancers in cancer season are probably the neediest human beings on the planet. <clears throat> Just like to state that for the record, because this Scorpio energy y'all got me involved in right now is not going to let me be at all nice about it. Oh man, y'all are going to want to be savage with everybody. That Ace of Swords in reverse also applies to how you guys are going to be feeling about everybody. I'm glad actually that happened because I could, I can feel how sharp I am right now. Google Scorpion stings. 
I did that right before I made this video. I don't know why. I just wanted to see. I just want to see what everybody's so afraid of. Now I get it. But like that on an emotional level. The world. Good. The star, the world, and in between them, the ace of swords. When we look at these cards together, you'll see how funny that looks. You're going to have really good things going on, but... Knight of Pentacles in reverse. <clears throat> if you're dealing with an earth sign. Really good things going on, but your attitude's going to be a little bit venomous right now because there's so much upheaval like cancer energy is like that uranus energy they were talking about it just pulls you know the the, the ocean pulls everything in even what doesn't want to come in that undertow is like i don't care just you know bees all sorts of distractions and that pulling that water grand try and pull Along with that Uranus, you know, <clears throat> Earth trine pull, you're involved in all of it. You're involved directly in the water trine and you're involved indirectly with the Earth trine, King of Swords, because of Uranus placement, you know, opposing you. So you're all in the middle of everything, which so it makes sense. Here you are. There you are. And now we get to see the sharpness this month with Scorpios as well. If you are someone who is in love with the Scorpio or watching this because you want to know how to deal with them, you should probably leave them alone this month. But don't leave them alone too much because if you leave them alone too much, that's like not, that's the same as bothering them too much. Either way, you're going to get stung. So, you just pick your poison, I guess. Um... <clears throat> no, I'm just trying to make it easier because, like, newbies, you know, if you're new, if you've never dealt with a Scorpio and this is, like, one of your first months dealing with them, <laughs> it's going to be a hard one because there's a lot of excess venom and things, you know, that surprise a Scorpio make that unconscious, you know, sting happen. It's not like they're going to even mean it. It's just there's so, so much upheaval. There's so much upheaval, um, so many shifts in energy that every and, and Scorpios can feel it all. And so every time you feel it, you're going to be like, kush, kush, kush. that's my version of stinging. Oh, and the sun as well. Good. The sun, the star, the world. Fantastic. And uh, in relation to you, this Knight of Pentacles is not doing well at all. I would even say it's the Knight of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords. Knight of Pentacles mirrors the Ace of Swords in reverse. And that's the painful situation that ended in a painful way that you were not ready for. And now you get a chance to revisit on your terms. The world, the sun, the star. The way you want it revisited. Where you have the power. Interesting. Ooh. Ace of Pentacles. Good. We can talk about money. Good money opportunities coming up, especially things that may have been delayed and now are coming back. And the Magician. If you are dealing with the Sagittarius, whoa, Sagittarians are showing all the way out this month for some reason. Everybody's got like something brewing with the Sagittarius where they're like, this Sagittarius lied to me. But also Aquarians, so it's interesting that are both both are out. If this is if you are in a financial dealing with an earth sign, you have the advantage. If you're in a financial dealing with an Aquarius, you have the advantage, but be careful because their words aren't going to reflect their actions. If you are in a financial situation with a with an air sign that is not an Aquarius, it looks very good. If it's a Leo, it looks great. If it's a Sagittarius, it looks great. Also, let's not forget that Jupiter uh, is part of this grand water trine while it's in your sign. So, we're loving financial energy, opportunity. We're loving it. We're loving it. Three of cups. Ah, now we get to uh, the thing. So after the past comes back, you have to deal with it. You want to deal with it. Let's be honest. You want to deal with it. That's that Scorpio pride talk. If you want to deal with it, you know. I love that answer from Scorpio Man. What are you doing? I don't know. 
put out of Do you want to do something? I mean, what are they? Sure. What do you want to do? You know, I'm saying we could do something. I know what we're going to do. Anyway, uh, Three of Cups. That's my imitation of Scorpio men. Actually, all, all of you, all of you. Supplies across the board. You're all like this. All right, now we've got, ooh, there you are. Five of Pentacles, the Death card, and Judgment. Bottom of the deck, the Fool. We'll take it. So let's look at these for a moment. I'll look at these for a moment with you, and then we'll look at them together from my perspective. Okay. Hello. It's still not a flower. It's still just a card. Yep. Okay. Bye. Bees. So, what do I see? I see the judgment card coming up over and over and over again because there is so much karmic uh, balancing out during cancer season. Cancer brings the karma. The ocean doesn't care. The ocean makes huge sweeping, you know, judgments. That's it. Things get like cleared out. There's a lot of stuff that you're holding in your heart that has to do with the pain of this previous thing that was obviously toxic, but it was also obviously great. That's why you can't forget it. So stop acting like you hate it because you don't. It's just what it says. It's not, you know, I know you guys don't like to like have stuff pointed out, but like it's so obvious. This is something that's been bothering you. It's been a thorn in your paw. That's, you know, always what this means. It's been a thorn in your paw, like something in your mind that's just been like sticking. And for, you know, I think there's so many different personality cards out because <laughs> you guys always have like quite a lot of, you know, different types of people around. Like you have very varied tastes. So there's a lot of you who are thinking about a lot of different people. And usually, you know, the card of overthinking, the card of the Aquarian with the Ace of Swords in reverse, that's like, you guys have really been thinking about it. And you've been putting that energy out there. You got a lot of energy to put out right now. Whatever you've been thinking about, because there's that Grand Water Train coming up, whatever you've been thinking about, it's going to come back. And since you've been thinking about it a lot, you know, there it comes. And you've got to decide what it looks like now, because it used to look like this, and we know it. Well, how's it going to look like moving forward? Well, the first thing that needs to happen is you being really you instead of just trying to be some version of you so you can get back what you think you lost or trying to be some version of you that acts like you don't care about what you lost. Then obviously there's karmic retribution on both ends. You both accept it. All you know, the, the entire the company accepts it, the school accepts it, the family accepts it, whatever it is, we all accept our role in it and you know uh, accept the karma that's doled out accordingly and then from there the new beginning I mean really three cards of a new beginning always a positive card remember that you going through the door yourself the gateless gate you go through the gateless gate yourself Uranus is pulling on you come on you go through the gateless gate yourself magic energy like come on Scorpio let's do this <clears throat> but before you can go through it start that new you start that you know even better even more prosperity even more you know bottom of the deck ten of pentacles before that there's just one little caveat one thing just one thing before we go gotta clear up some stuff and I think for you guys the judgment card here is about having to perhaps swallow your pride a little bit perhaps perhaps and in some cases swallowing your pride really does mean accepting that something was toxic and moving on it's not outside of the realm of possibility that this situation in some way or other comes back whether it's just in your mind or actually shows up in your physicality and you look at it again in July and you say to yourself you know what um, that judgment card is really about me speaking my truth and saying, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't, I don't, I don't think I ever really wanted this. I'm going to go and I'm going to take 
you know, my mind, my intellect, my good luck, my financial good luck, my prowess, Jupiter energy, Jupiterian energy, I'm going to take all of it and I'm going to go. And I'm going to do something better. Now, for a lot of you, you may also feel like the star and the ace of swords in reverse is about really feeling constrained in terms of what you really want to do with your life. And you feel like there's this whole world out there that you don't have access to and all these things that you would love to do and it all looks so green on that side, right? Well, first of all, don't worry because all of that is coming to you and you have the right tools to attain it. But I think before we can get there, it is a matter of identity that has to be addressed. See, this thing from the past that's coming back, it has something to do with a wound that isn't healed. And it is affecting your sense of self and it needs to be looked at. Now, whether or not, you know, this person physically coming back into your life is able to do that or not, it, it, that's not really, it can't be the question. That can't be the question because it's not about them. It was never about them. It's about how you deal with them and what they meant to you and how that reflects on you. What that, what that says about how you feel about you, that's what it's about. That's why the retrograde brings things back. So you can take another perspective, another look at yourself and your actions. You know how they say hindsight is twenty twenty. Why is everyone so afraid of Mercury retrogrades? You don't like twenty twenty. You don't like twenty twenty vision. I do. I love it. Look back. Look back the right way. Look at everything. You're given the chance to have that twenty twenty vision. Take it. Look at things for how they really are because if you're able to speak that truth, even if it is just to yourself, you get that new beginning. But without that, you know, if, if there's a lot of you who can't even think about that Ace of Swords, you know, in reverse moment with the start, if you, if you can't even go there in your head for a second with me and be like, oh, is that the thing she's talking about? If you can't even go anywhere near it, that means that is like a gaping, open, bleeding wound. That's why you can't go near it. It's too sensitive. That means that's controlling and informing your whole life. If it's that sensitive, so, you know, prepare yourself because this month that ocean water comes in and goes and is going to clear that wound out. And the more sensitive it is because you don't want to go near it, the more painful it's going to be when that saline comes through. It, it's going to happen. So let's get comfortable with it. Start using your mind's eye. Start using your third eye. That's why it has photoreceptors. Go into your imagination. When you see things in your mind's eye, you're actually seeing them because you're using the photoreceptors in the pineal gland. Use it. Sit in meditation five, ten minutes every day. Let the past come to you. Let's let whatever thoughts need to be healed come up. Look at them. Let them go. Do it again the next day. Look at them. Let them go. Make no judgments about them. Don't feel a certain way about them. Don't get mad because it comes up. Don't get sad because it comes up. Okay, if you're if you're crying, you're crying. Then you get up. You wash your face. You drink some water. You go on with your day. Do it every day, every day, every day. Within this cancer season, if you are able to do this, by the time we get to your season, you will be so rocking. Because all this is is a setup for what's about to happen. You see, we're about we're going like this. Now we're at cancer, we're reaching the height, and we're about to go like this on the roller coaster. When we start going like this on the roller coaster, it's like we get to Virgo and then we get to Libra, boom, and we start to go down. By the time we get to you guys, which is Scorpio, is the funnest part of the ride. Well, some people like when you first hit the dip, right? But then when you pick up the most speed is like at Scorpio, right? So you, the magic of that time, the sweep of the season, if you will, it's going to be lit. But if you are centered and over this pain that you are still carrying around, then you'll be able to go into this season and the next few seasons that are going to be so good for you financially, you will also be able to deal with them emotionally. Because the truth of the matter is, if you don't deal with it, on some level, it's still controlling you. And you could be here, but you but you won't face it. You won't take that painful, you know, two-second realization to face something. It's not even as painful as it seems. It's just painful because you won't do it. And cancer season comes in and goes, okay, you don't want to do it? You know, that's how cancers are. Okay, you don't want to do it? Okay, let's do it. And you're like, are you crazy? I just said I don't want to talk about that. Okay, so let's talk about it. You know, that's just how we be. <laughs> like <laughs> oh will this help you because I can tell that this is hurting you so let's talk about it and Scorpio's like no you are obviously deaf because I just said I don't want to talk about it but that means you need to talk about it I am here for you you know and Scorpio's just like yo you're mad annoying yeah okay well that poison just gets dissolved in an ocean full of water you know what I'm saying like that listen I'm not knocking the venom it's very powerful but Venom 
ocean. It's relative, right? So this is a season. You can get the venom out and get as much of it out as you want, actually, because the ocean can take it. But just realize that everybody else that's in that ocean with you feels like they're drowning. Just because you and Pisces don't feel like you're drowning doesn't mean that everyone else isn't gasping for air. Bees, um, because they are bees. Please, please stop. That's a pentacle. That's the sun card. It's not actually a flower. That's the star. Yo, can you? No, that's honey. That is not a flower. That's a that's a flower on a card. Yeah, that's a sunflower on a card. Not the actual one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why it's not working. There's no pollen for your little hands to grab. Okay, sorry. Apologies. Please, please move along. Oh my god! Oh my god! What was I saying about Venom and not being afraid of Venom? <laughs> I didn't say I was the ocean. I did say I was the ocean. I didn't say I was the ocean. Cancerians, all of us are the ocean. Okay, bees are scary because they have because they can sting. You see? This is, like, you got to be real careful with things that have venom. But in this season... There is enough water to flush the venom along, but that doesn't mean people aren't going to be afraid of you, and it doesn't mean that you still can't sting them and hurt them. So while you're going through your retrograde past novella stuff here, people are going to irritate you and get on your nerves just by doing nothing, just by being around. And it's going to be up to you, you know, to... Uh, not, you know, hurt too many people. Try not to hurt too many people while you're dealing with your own stuff, which will admittedly make you feel raw. So just keep in mind that everybody else in some way is also dealing with the retrograde and maybe just like let them live, you know, because the judgment card, I'm just out of experience, when the judgment card and the death card are out together like this, that just means that you Scorpios are really on one um, and you really just want to tell everybody what you want to tell them. You saw how I reacted, like, oh, God, just, you know, people scared. They got, a, they got a right to be scared. They got a reason to be scared. If you've ever been stung by something, you know, you know to be afraid of it, right? Um, it's a learned response. So um, people's learned responses to you may even be the source of your irritation with them. It's just like I don't feel like people can win right now with each other. Like cancer season is so difficult in that way because cancers are low-key competitive like they never like to admit that they're competitive but they are and so a lot of what comes out of people during this season is like their low-key hidden competitiveness or their hater their hateration that has to do with somebody like it's a it can be a really sneaky season that way because cancers can move real sneaky that way they can move sideways um Meanwhile, I feel like Scorpios just Scorpions like to hide, and then if you end up going near them or stepping near them, they'll get pissed and they'll sting you. But it's like it's a it's a it's an instinctual response, you know. It's not strategic. It's very kind of kind of like head on, you know. Um, so you may find this stuff that people are doing in Cancer season really annoying, and you may feel like really showing people out and like telling them their truth and exposing them. Um, I feel like Scorpio is going to be exposing a lot of people. Um, and I'm not saying that you shouldn't, but I'm, but I'm saying that so much of your internal life and your relationship life is also going to be exposed to you. So you have to make the choice now of where you want to spend that energy, right? Like, do you want to spend that time and energy really out here telling people how it is? Or do you want to spend it on the stuff that's going to be put in front of you and you want to spend it in meditation trying to figure out what it is? That's on you. Um, but the insight is available to you and the sharpness is available to you, Ace of Swords in reverse even. Um, but, you know, that, that's also a sign of like, hey, are you wielding this weapon the right way? Be really careful because what we don't want to do is be real, real sharp to a bunch of people now and then have it come back around to us in our season, you know, in your season. Um I might just be self-identifying with Scorpios for no reason. Like, it's, it's our season. No, it's your season. Um, what you don't want is that karma coming back around in your season, you know, and, like, and like just causing petty, you know, petty, like, drawbacks for you. We don't, we don't, 
we want to be able to get through this super sensitive time for everybody without letting our own sensitivities get us so raw that we're out here stinging people who are already raw from, you know, from cancer season, like the ocean wearing away at them. And then they're like raw already. Then you come over like irritated and then you sting them. There's a chance you might kill some relationships here. You know, there's a chance you might kill some friendships or some really good opportunities and we don't want to do that. So in the spirit of building and <clears throat> getting better and better and evolving and all the things that we want to do, um, careful how you swing that sword, you know, it's already in reverse. It's, uh, popped out of the deck, you know, it's like um, so many of you are just like done, like I'm done. Some of you stay on that level. That's okay too. I'm just saying like, you know, all of you are going to get there by the end of the month. It's going to be like, but you know what? But then the last week of the month, things are just so, so, so good. I'm, what I feel like is that once you're done dealing with whatever this is, I mean, the sun just comes back out. You know? It's just... It's like you finally get over the hurdle. And you're like, whoop! And you're just... You're going. And it was a hidden hurdle, you know? Needed to happen this way. Good. So let's look at these cards together. I'm going to show you from my perspective so we can start to learn how to read them for yourself. Make you self-sufficient out here in the world of tarot. I'll be right back. Oh, um, tickets for Atlanta. There's one date. I got like a larger venue. And then for San Francisco, the Bay Area, Oakland, it's two dates, one in the evening and one in the afternoon. And then I'll put up D.C. and Denver today. Inshallah, I'll get that done today. And then there's still a link for the pre-order for the book that should be out in August. God willing, everything goes well with that. And what else? Extended lin links will be below. Link to the website, and then you go to the extended readings tab. Extended readings tab, and everything is there. Uh, you can stream them, you can download it and watch it later when you don't have service, or you can go through a Shopify link, which should be below as well, um, and pay through PayPal, and then I'll send you a link. So those two things are available. For everything else, there's going to be a calendar. I put a calendar up on my website. You can check that out for the new events. And there's going to be some cool stuff coming up soon. There's lots of stuff going on, actually. Just rolling it out slowly. All right. I love you guys. I'll see you in a second. Hi. Okay, so let's look at these cards now. Now that you can see them, let's start up here. Yeah? So by itself, if we were looking at this, it's what you want. What you wanted. It's your wish, right? Make a wish on a star, all that. A lot of water. If you were dealing with an Aquarius, that hurt. When Aquarians are not honest, they are deeply dishonest. And we know how that sits with you guys. But it's not a knife through the heart. It's not a three of swords because we also know how you guys get when somebody hurts you. It's not a lot of time to hurt. Delayed onset. And yet, coming full circle, coming back around to the thing that you really wanted, the knives are still out. But there is a chance again at completion. Regardless, good fortune, money, promotion. Others who have hurt you, who wasted your time, are not doing quite so well. They're hurting. Their money situation is not good. There is a need to come back. Obviously, you're distrustful, as anyone should be. King of Swords. So, it is a time of sharpness, and if you're dealing with an air sign still, 
that's surprising, but if you are still dealing with an air sign, they are being extremely sharp. And so are you. Now, that's if they're not an Aquarius, because the Aquarian is addressed right away. But if there's no other air sign, and it is an Aquarius, then they have really hurt you. That's very difficult. That's someone who wounds. And so you get a time of reprieve now. Some good stuff to help you heal and make up for it. The sun. With the star and the world already out, to then get the sun while the sun is at its height in cancer season is to show that you are completely in tune and on time. If that makes sense. You guys are always. That's why you seem so weird to everyone. You can always kind of tell how Scorpios are going to be if you just watch the moon or like keep a general understanding of how the moon days work, right? Maybe you guys don't like that. Maybe that makes you feel like you're predictable or something. It's not that you're predictable. It's just you're so in sync that you can look at other things that sync up with you and get a pretty good idea of how you're going to be feeling. Cardinal water. The sun at its height. Abundance. I mean, to the point where the, you know, the bee thought, that those sunflowers were real. The bee was sitting exactly on those sunflowers right there and like trying to pollinate. <laughs> and with this abundance, which is what the sun signifies anyway, it's like a giving over to you of all the things, like when everything is blooming in the summer, everything is attracted, like the bee was attracted. So this is your energy right now. This is your energy right now. And what does that attract? Abundance attracts abundance. Abundance attracts celebration. Celebration and abundance attract. Very interesting, very powerful, very abundant people and very abundant energy. Jupiter in Scorpio. You have the ability to draw lots of different things into your spiral right now if you want to. But this situation here is messy and it does need to be addressed. Whether this is just a lifelong wish that you had to be with this earth sign and it never happened and it was the, it's the kind of thing where it was like, ah, that really should have happened, that could have happened. It's really what I wanted. Like at the beginning I said, it's what I always wanted. It's messy though. This is messy. It'll give you the world if you can get it right. And part of getting it right, I think, is to immerse this into this, which is all these other aspects of your life are going so well. What happens when you try to reintroduce love into what seems to be a spiraling up in terms of money, morale, power, bravery, identity? Will this looking back during the retrograde season be toxic for you? Or will it show you, finally, that this thing is toxic and needs to get out? Because it doesn't fit with anything else. You will either figure out that this torch you've been carrying is for something that is toxic and doesn't fit into the abundant life that you are in and have coming in, or you will realize something toxic about the situation, both of you, and you will be able to remedy it. 
especially if they're a Sag, especially if they're a Leo, especially if you're dealing with someone who reminds you of a small, innocent sort of being. Someone clear, right? Bottom of the deck. Yeah. Let's look at the bottom of the deck in the extended. Ten of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Ace of Cups, Ten of Swords, Knight of Swords. And we'll, well, we'll clarify. But before we wrap up here, take a look. In terms of reading cards, take a look what's, at what's going on in terms of your identity in this season. Towards the end of July, yeah, right as we're coming into Leo season, you will feel the weight of all this, and I think it will push any sort of a toxic partnership, relationship, anything, it will push it out. Because you instinctively are in front of the judgment card. You know what's coming. You sense it. And this energy is coming for everybody, but you sense it. And there it is. And because you sense it, you get out in front of it. You're handling your stuff, getting rid of what can't be there anymore. You were able to give yourself a, a great start, a new start, at a time where perhaps a lot of people's lives will be falling apart. It will actually facilitate for you a wonderful new beginning because you're not allowed. Uh, you're not afraid to completely absorb and stand in your truth, be it good, bad, or whatever. You just you don't care. You have enough pride to supersede that. And so you'll be all right with this judgment energy. But this cancer season is going to get a lot of people, and very few of them will be walking out of it with such a light heart. So congrats. All right, we'll go more into this in the extended. All the links will be below. You can go to the website. Or I think I already said this, yeah. I will see you for Leo season at the end of July. I love you.